Alright. Apparently a little too close. Uh, this is a 1988 Honda CRX SI transmission. And the CV axles are out of a 91 HF. I had them laying around and they wouldn't go in at first. But I checked the part number and the part numbers are the same. So uh, I just lubed them up and tapped them in with a dead blow hammer. That hammer right there. And the problem is, I only had one in at a time, and it was doing the same thing I'm about to tell you, and so I put both in at a time just to see. So I turn the input shaft, and it spins, and it'll turn these, but then it'll, if you just hold maybe five pounds of pressure to restrict it, you can keep turning the input shaft, but the axle will not spin and I believe I have it in first gear because you would be the driver, this would be on the passenger side the engine compartment, engine would be over here and if you were shifting you would be over and up so when you go with the linkage I suspect when you go over and then up you're going to be pulling it out so you're going to be doing that so the way it's uh, anchored uh, and if I'm wrong, it's in second gear, because either way, you've got to go over. Although, if you went over this way, that would actually send it that way, wouldn't it? So, bam. Hmm. So that means I'm probably in... Probably in fifth, actually. So, but I've done it in all of them. Uh, pretty much, yeah, I think I've done it in all of them. And... Uh, you, you spin it and you know you grab both of them I put my foot on this one and held this one with an arm and neither one of these will turn but the input shaft will turn with very little resistance now that doesn't sound to me like that's the way a transmission should work that's functioning properly I don't know that this transmission is good I got it out of the junkyard uh, but the engine's here power of the engine goes to the transmission transmission then sends it to I guess this would be a transaxle kind of deal, the rear end, and CV axles go to the tires. So, you know, there should be just a direct drive here. I could understand maybe one of them not spinning and allowing the other one to spin, but both of them not spinning? It just seems to me if I put this in the car and I go to take off, I won't have any torque. I won't have anything propel me. So, if I'm missing something, I like to know what it is.